So hey everybody, um, if you're wondering what that clapping was about, that is because for today's movie review, I'm going to talk about the new James Wan film, The Conjuring. Um, and the reason why I did that was because if you've seen the trailers for The Conjuring, uh, there's a scene involving the mother of the family uh, getting stuck in a basement. Uh, basically all the lights are burnt out. And all she has is a match to see, and then the, the match goes out by an instant clap from the ghost. Uh, and the, I guess the ghost learns it from the kids who like to play a special form of tag where you're blindfolded and you're allowed to do three claps um, to get the blindfolded person idea of where you're hiding. So in The Conjuring, you guys, it's actually based off a true story where uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who were paranormal investigators, they're most well known for taking on the Amityville horror case. Um, they get assigned to a house that is... Um, haunted by a ghost spirit that of a woman who once lived at the house before this family did. This family has five daughters, it's a couple, and uh, they move into this new house. They, I guess they won it through an, um, an auction of some kind or some. They, they got the house for a very low price. Uh, so they move there, everything's established, all the bills are paid, and this thing with this ghost starts to happen. So Ed and Lorraine Warren uh, they're assigned to this house. Uh, the mother goes actually to a, um, a seminar that they're hosting where they talk, tell young students who want to be paranormal investigators or demonologists in some cases uh, how to deal with the ghosts, how to get rid of them, uh, how to perform an exorcism, that kind of stuff. So the mother uh, finds a way to attend one of these, and immediately after the session's done with, she waits in line, she gets the attention of Ed and Lorraine Warren, and... She asks them if she can, if uh, they can get rid of this ghost that's been haunting their house, because you know they just moved in, and it's really freaking the family out at this point. Uh, so they get there, they research it, they basically contact the real estate agent. They get as much information about the house as possible, uh, so they can best handle this case the best way they can. Turns out uh, the house was once owned by a woman who believed in witchcraft. Um, a murder happened, which will be explained in the film, which I won't explain here. Um, and it basically went down to a long, long road of depression and anger and a bunch of other things. And she eventually hung herself in a tree outside the house. Uh, and the tree itself looks very creepy. You can see it on the Conjuring poster of the film. Uh, so the Perrin family, that's the family that was also involved with this real-life case, the Perrin family. Um, basically, the... The Warrens, Ed and Lorraine Warren, find a way to uh, get rid of this ghost. It involves crosses, holy water, biblical passages. They try to get a priest involved, but you'll see in the film why the priest couldn't get involved the way that they wanted them him to get involved. Um, and so basically it's about the Warrens taking care of this ghost. So the, um, the, the Perrin family, I keep forgetting their last name, the Perrin family can live happily ever after in this house. But after these events, you would think that they'd want to live in another house. Uh, so this is a very creepy film, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be at least a good few scenes in this film that are really going to freak you out, even if you're very good with horror films. Uh, I've talked to several people already who are really good with horror films. They really don't get scared that often with them. There's things about this film that are really going to creep you out, just simply because it's based off a true story. There really are some really good scares. No jump scares here. There's no um, no massive amounts of blood and gore. There's a little bit of blood in one scene on the face, uh, you know, certain things of that nature, but it's not like full-on blood and gore. You don't have to worry about seeing like intestines or anything. Um, but very well done movie. For the positives and negatives, this film is brilliantly shot. There's some really brilliant editing and cinematography here. Definitely one of the best I've seen in a horror film in a long time. Uh, so if you're looking for a well-made horror film, The Conjuring is definitely it. Uh, there's some really great real scares in here. There's definitely a lot of things in here where if you saw this in real life or if this really happened at your house, this would really be scary. Um, so some really great scares here. Like I said, no jump scares, no massive amounts of blood and gore. Just real talented filmmaking at work, making real effective scares. Um, great storyline too. I, I liked how this film was about the parent family and the Warrens and the Warren taking on the Warrens taking on these paranormal cases. They briefly talk about some other ones. There's even one involving uh, Lorraine Warren uh, still kind of freaking out about this possession that happened with one of the cases, kind of how that ghost is still inside her a little bit. 
Uh, not completely, but it does um, affect one scene that happens in the film that I don't want to spoil. Um, but uh, it really, it's, I really like the combination that it's about this family and the Warrens and kind of how these two tie in together to make this film a complete. Uh, so really great storyline here from James Wan, who directed um, Insidious in the first Saw film. Uh, like I was saying before, I really like the fact that it was about the Warrens. In fact, I'm interested to learn more about the Warrens, and I'm glad that New Line Cinema is considering doing um, more stories about the Warrens. Because, you know, even though they've done Amityville Horror, even though The Conjuring now, the story about the parents, is a film now. Um, and I guess one other story of theirs is like a made-it-for-TV kind of film. But I'm glad that New Line Cinema is trying to come up with the idea of basically telling more stories of the Warrens, because they did take on a lot of really scary cases. I think there was even one involving a guy thinking he was a werewolf. Uh, so there's a lot of really creepy stories out there that the Warrens took on that I'm really glad that Hollywood is starting to consider to make into films, because they really took on some really creepy cases. And um, I know Ed Warren's dead, but Lorraine Warren's still around, so hopefully they can even make it before she passes away. Uh, I think that'd be really interesting because she, she probably saw The Conjuring already and was probably like, wow, yeah, that, that really was correct. Because I guess some of the parents already saw this film already and they were even used for some of the marketing of this film. And even they said that this was pretty accurate to what the event was like. Uh, but then again, they probably got paid to say that too, so who knows. Um, really great makeup and special effects here. This is some of the scariest makeup I've seen in the film, so probably The Exorcist. There's some really creepy makeup in here. Um really demonic, really scary, bright glowing red, yellow and red eyes. It's just really, really creepy stuff. Uh, so if you like makeup and film, if you want to be like a makeup artist of some kind, this is definitely a great film to watch just to see how creepy you can make makeup uh, in a film. It's great special effects here. There's a lot of scenes in here just like, wow, I wonder how they were able to film that and all that kind of stuff. Um, for some of the negatives, you guys, some of the real um, event elements weren't covered. Uh, specifically where, um, I guess in the real life story, because I've seen an interview with one of the parents, one of the real ones, um, one of the ghosts was like a little girl, and she was telling one of them late at night that um, there was bodies hidden in the walls. That was never covered in this film, and I almost wonder why, because that, that was a very, um, whenever the parent case is talked about, that's a very common thing they talk about, was these bodies hiding in the walls. Uh, there's ones, there's two scenes in here that kind of hint toward that, but they never really say that. This film almost seems more about the woman that lived in the house before the parents. Um, so I'm wondering why James Wan decided to go the witchcraft route a little bit more. Um, and also, if you look at the real doll, the, I think it's called the Ad Adela doll or something, uh, James Wan completely changes the look. It's definitely more along the line of Dead Silence, a film he worked on a couple of years ago. The real-life doll looks more along the line of like a Pippi Longstocking kind of thing. Uh, so I'm, I have one other question, like, why did they change that so much? Uh, but as far as the Warrens collection go, they got that right, and the overall story is right, but there's just a few things that it's like, oh, that, it happened like that, not like this. Um... There was some scenes here that have no payoff at all. There's some scenes where it builds, it builds, it builds, it builds, and then it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of stops. There's no scare. It, you After a while, you think it's going to scare, and you think it's going to scare after the scare didn't happen, but it turns out it just moves on to the next scene. It's just like, well, what was, this, what was the point of that? Um, so there's a few of those. After the fourth or fifth time, it gets kind of old. I can see why they did it at first kind of, you know, trick you, but after the fourth or fifth time to do it, it's just like, just give me the scare already. Um... There is some predictability in the film simply because the trailers do show some of the scares in the film. There is, there is even one scene in the film that I think really could have been scary if it was not shown in the trailer at all. So by the time I went to go see it, it was just like, well, I've already seen that part in the trailer. Um, but for the most part, this film is still really good. Don't let that scare you away. Um, but there is some scenes that are shown in the trailers. It's like, well, by the time you're done watching the film, it's just like, well, some of the stuff was shown in the trailer already. Um... There was some scene in here that didn't feel serious enough, and I'm talking about the scenes where, you know, things are setting up, where the technology has to be established around the house for the paranormal investigation, when basically on the scenes where it's really nothing about the paranormal part of the house, there's just a lot of scenes where, um, specifically where they're installing stuff in the house, where it just kind of, um, not really a comedic vibe, but it kind of goes into like this Saturday Night Fever disco route. And I know this film is supposed to take place in the 70s, and that's when the event really happened. I think it was 1971 when this event happened. 
But still, it's just like, it almost kind of ruins the tone and the mood of the film. Not a completely, you know, distracting thing, but it is something that I saw throughout the film. It's just like, you know, that kind of ruins the mood and the tone. Uh, but overall, guys, I do give The Conjuring a 9 out of 10. It's a very freaky film. I guarantee you it's going to scare you. Um, like I said, no jump scares, so if you don't like those, there's none of that in this film. There is no tons amount of blood and gore in this film. There is a few scenes involving blood, but it's not like large quantity, can't bear it kind of blood. Um, it's just a very creepy film. It's done the old traditional way. It's definitely done in like an exorcist Amityville horror uh, route. That would kind of make sense since the Warrens also took on the Amityville horror case. Um, but The Conjuring, I, give, I do give it a 9 out of 10. It's a great film, great horror film. If you just want a great, scary movie, it, this Conjuring is a great one. It's almost contemporary in that sense.